Hey, hi, welcome to the series of A Spice sessions. So, this is Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. So, today we would like to deal with SWE6 software qualification test. So, this is my favorite thing. Why I say it as a favorite thing is like it enabled me to travel in a brand new vehicle, even not released in the market. So, I was accompanying the test team and uh, uh, I was, I, I, it made me to observe each and every OEM. So how their cars are designed and how their, I have, I've understood all this. I have worked with hundreds and hundreds of, hundreds of uh, test engineers uh, in my career. Uh, so uh, I'm glad to be part of uh, this software qualification test team. Thanks. Thank you guys. Uh, so coming to the purpose, the purpose of the software qualification test process is to ensure that the integrated software is tested to provide evidence for compliance with the software requirements. So before an integration testing, so we have ensured that all parts of the software architecture design is met. Now we have to ensure that all software requirements are met. Okay. Uh, so the process outcomes are a, pro a software qualification test strategy, including regression test strategy consistent with the, with the project plan and release plan is developed to test the integrated software. So as we already say, like this, we have to de develop a strategy which covers a normal uh, test strategy, qualification test strategy also we have to develop a integration test strategy based on the project planner release plan and even the software requirements so these three are the inputs to thus this guy or the software qualification testing so a specification for we have already developed a strategy then we need to come up with a specification uh, specification for the software qualification testing test of the integrated software according to the according to the software test strategy is developed that is suitable to provide evidence for compliance with the software requirements. So we two things we have completed already strategy and the specification. So the third thing is test cases, including the software qualification test specification are selected according to the software qualification test strategy and the release plan. So we have to pick or we have to tweak out the proper test cases which are applicable to that particular scenario uh, based on the release plan and the strategy or the software qualification test strategy. Uh, the integrated software is tested using the selected test cases and the results of the software qualification test are recorded. So we have to execute the testing and we have to record the results as well. Consistency and bidirectional traceability are established between the software requirements and the software qualification test specification including test cases and between test cases and test results. So results of the software qualification test are summarized and communicated to all affected parties. So coming to the output work products, so test specification or your qualification test specification, software qualification test specification, software to qualification test plan, uh, your communication records, your uh, uh, review records, traceability record, your test results, so software qualification test result and software qualification test strategy. So the review records are for uh, the test strategy, test specification and even for your uh, test plan. Okay. And the communication results are, all, are also applicable, is also applicable uh, for all these things. Communication record is like uh, email evidence or uh, the automatic generated email from the from the tool, from the configuration management tool or uh, uh, the minutes of meeting or the status reports. Okay, and uh, uh, your traceability record is your bidirectional traceability record either in uh, the traceability matrix which is uh, the, which is recorded in as an Excel or uh, even the traceability tool like Polarion or any other ALM tool as well. So coming to the base practices. So BP1 talks about develop qualifi software qualification test strategy, including regression strategy. So as we always talk about, so first step is 
strategy definition so strategy definition we have to do normal strategy definition in the regression strategy definition so what is the input for these these uh, two is like uh, we have uh, software requirements in place srs is the input project plan is the input or the pmp is the input input and your release plan is the input three things okay one is srs the second thing or the software requirement specification document uh, the second thing is project plan and the release plan three things bp2 talks about develop specification for software qualification test so the next thing is we have to develop a specification software software qualification test specification uh, is nothing but a group of test cases uh, we need to define with the verification criteria uh, so uh, for this thing the input is software requirement specification only okay uh, bp3 is talks about select test cases so select test cases for the software test specification so um, the selection of test cases shall be shall have sufficient coverage according to the software test strategy and the release plan so for the first time as uh, as we discussed in the integration testing as well uh, so here we uh, for the first time when we are uh, testing it when we are testing the software uh, we will execute all software test software qualification test cases but when there is a change in a requirement or when there is a change in a requirement then we will execute a set of test cases which are uh, direct uh, to that particular change and the impacted uh, work products or the impacted piece of code or as well and uh, based on the unit test sorry based on the software test uh, software qualification test strategy and the release plan so before talks about test integrated software so we need to execute all the test cases in the integrated software to the integrated software and we need to record the results and logs so we need to uh, we need to record the results in terms of uh, excel or uh, any other bug management tool or uh, or test management tool pp5 talks about establishing bi directional traceability uh, is like uh, uh, we have to ensure on the traceability between software requirements and the software qualification test specification we need to uh, ensure on the traceability between uh, the software qualification test specification to software qualification test results two things we have to remind on requirements to test cases test cases to test results so these two is easy right okay bp6 talks about ensuring consistency as i always say is like we need to ensure on bidirectional traceability and review records okay bp7 talks about summary of summarize and communication of results so we need to communicate to all affected parties so the all stakeholders of this project so that we have uh we have our software qualification test reports available in this location and uh, uh we have to communicate in an email or the order generated email from the configuration management tool or minutes of meeting or if it is uh, if it is uh, told in a uh, in a minute is in a meeting or we can even send while sending it to the customer uh, we can uh, communicate it in as a part of uh, status report or even your release note release note will have this communication thing yeah thank you so much for your time and i am your tota krishna hema again so if you like this concept subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts on this concept write to me at askhematota@gmail.com or you can comment in the comment section below thank you